Hey, this is Tom, and what I'm going to do is kind of talk about some of the information you see on the back of your Canon T5i, just so you can get used to sort of what you're looking at there. Uh, you could also call this uh, video, the subtitle would be, The Q Button is Your Friend. Okay, so I've got my Canon T5i here, and I've turned it on, and this is kind of the main info screen on the back. If I push the Q button, which is right there, uh, I can adjust the aperture, the ISO, my flash exposure compensation, my overall exposure compensation. Now, if I were to make an adjustment on this, if it looked like this with the square being under the one, that means I would be overexposing my pictures by one full stop. If I push the Q button again and I went under, right, I can go, wow, I can go minus five or plus five, zero or like uh, between zero and one, you're good, usually. Uh, but if your photos are consistently turning out dark or light, yeah, you might want to check that. Uh, also, when I hit the Q button, let's see, we've got uh, white balance setting. This is auto white balance, AWB, I would suggest using that. Uh, this is your uh, image settings. Um, I feel like this, either faithful or neutral, is fine. Uh, this is set up for one shot autofocus. There are uh, a couple of different options. I would either, I would do one shot just until you get used to it. Uh, AI servo means it'll keep focusing. One shot means it will uh, lock onto something and then you'll be good. This is single shooting. There's also continuous. Sort of hear what that sounds like. This is evaluative meeting, uh, metering. Uh, this is your metering mode. Uh, evaluative works pretty well. Um, there is partial, spot, and center weighted average. I would tend to stick with evalu evaluative to get started. Lastly here, uh, you want to be on RAW. This is the image quality. Uh, this is going to give you the most information possible. Um, that's a little bit there. Now, the cameras are set up for back button focusing. And if you push this button here, this will show you uh, that the center point is selected. And then you can use this button to focus. And then you can take a picture. Whoop. I'm too close to everything here. So try that out. There's another video on that. All right. So hopefully that'll help. If you ever want to check your images, you can push this little arrow. Um, if you need to get to the menu, it's right there. Um, and then also you can change your white balance, autofocus, uh, setting, all that on this, um, these buttons here on the side. And this can always also change your, if you're in manual, you can use this AV button to change your aperture. Okay, hope that helps. Uh, experiment with the camera. Oh, lastly, this puts it on uh, live view. So you can sort of see there what you're taking a picture of. Too close. Okay. All right. Hope that helps. If you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out. Always happy to help. Thanks.